One person who was waiting with more eagerness than usual for the Ravenswood fate was Gwyneth Rees, daughter of Sir Ivor and Lady Rees. A gentleman of Welsh birth and upbringing, Sir Ivor had inherited his title, land and fortune from an uncle who had never married. At the time, Sir Ivor had already owned land in Wales, and he had had a beloved younger brother with no land of his own and with a growing young family to feed. With the full knowledge and agreement of his wife, Sir Ivor had sold his land and home to his brother for five guineas and moved to England with her and Idris, his infant son. The following year, Gwyneth had been born. Sir Ivor missed Wales, for he had a large family of relatives there and a wide circle of friends, and had lived a rich life in his home country. Wales returned the favour, and missed him too, or at least the southwestern part of it, in which she had grown up, did. For as well as being a sociable, good-hearted gentleman, he was an organist of considerable talent and local renown, and he was a singer and a conductor of choirs. Music was in his soul, as was the case with many of his fellow Welshmen, and Welsh women too, of course, that went without saying. He had brought his passion and talents with him to England, however, having discovered that there was no sizable pipe organ within an hour of his home in any direction, he had purchased one and had it installed in the village church where he played it for Sunday services and upon numerous other occasions too. He had inherited a church choir, all boys, and had trained them until they sounded like junior angels instead of a pack of disgruntled growling dogs that would not have recognised a tune if one had tapped them on the shoulder. <laughs>